What do you do when the liberal crybabies try to force gun control by changing city laws when they're actually violating state law? You defund them. Well, a few weeks ago, I told you that the city council in Memphis, Tennessee had passed uh, three gun control measures that they're going to put on the ballot in November to let voters decide if they want stricter gun control. Well, for one, you can't vote away the rights of another U.S. citizen. And two, that measure, all three measures, are in direct violation of Tennessee law, specifically the firearms preemption laws, meaning no town, city, or county can pass any gun control that's stricter than state law. So, the Tennessee Lieutenant Governor and the House Speaker in Tennessee are threatening to withhold $78 million of tax revenue from sales tax. <laughs> and this is good. Before I jump into it, I want to thank the sponsor of the video, Lear Capital. You know I work with Lear Capital and have for a long time. They're a trusted name in the world of precious metal investing. Uh, recently, Kevin McDermott, the founder of Lear, assisted the FBI in a nationwide gold theft, gold theft ring by providing key information to law enforcement that helped save customers millions of dollars. I chose Lear to help educate my viewers on the strategic need to own gold or silver, and it protects me and you against the enormous financial challenges we face today and likely will for years to come. If you want to learn more, uh, call them and ask them. Some people don't know about gold and how it can actually help you. Uh, yeah, we should buy bullets too, but you're going to need some type of bartering system, and gold has had value since the beginning of time. Gold is a strategy. Hope is not. Uh, so check them out. Lear Capital can be reached at 1-800-260-5075 or leargg.com. Ask them the tough questions, guys and gals. They want to help educate you, and there's no pressure to buy. You can also click the link down below and watch the frequently asked question video that I did with, with Kevin, where uh, viewers like you sent me questions, and I asked him on camera. Again, it's 1-800-260-5075 or leargg.com. All right, so the legislators here in the state are threatening to hit the deep blue city of Memphis in the wallet, but the city council is standing firm. The chairman of the city council has said that they will do what they can to ensure that these measures stay on the November ballot. Well, they're getting sued over it. There are three measures. The first requires permits for firearms in the city limits and have rules for storing firearms in cars. Well, Tennessee is a permitless carry state. The second would ban the sale of assault weapons, and the third would create a red flag law. Now, none of those measures will save one life that's been proven in Chicago and Boston and New York and Portland and any other deep blue city that says we need to just keep passing gun control because it makes us feel great and people who are dumb keep voting for us because we keep doing this stuff. Yeah, dumb. Now, the Memphis City Councilwoman Jerry Green said this, quote, this is a chance for the people to have their voice heard and we may end up in the courts, but this is a righteous fight. We are in a pandemic level crime era right now in the city of Memphis, as Mayor Young likes to say. And so we are going to have to take some really quick and important measures. <laughs> well, it's their policies, ones that she's voted on, that have Memphis in this situation. It's plain and simple. That's it. You're the problem, <laughs> not everybody else. Now, uh, state representative, Tennessee state representative here, John Gillespie, said, and he represents M Memphis, so you can probably guess what this is going to be. He said, I continue to be an advocate for reasonable gun safety measures. During my four years in the state house, I've supported red flag laws and safe gun storage. I've consistently opposed the open carry of handguns. I support Tennessee's concealed carry law that requires a training course and handgun safety. I plan to vote in support of the gun safety measures that will appear on the Memphis ballot in this November's election. Some argue these referenda should not appear on the ballot. I'll leave this decision up to the courts. In the meantime, I'll vote yes for handgun carry permits, safe storage of firearms and automobiles, and red flag laws that keep guns out of the hands of those who are judged to be a danger to themselves or others. Well, that's all bullshit. He also said, as your state representative, I'll continue working to persuade other legislators to understand the importance of responsible gun safety measures 
in an urban community such as Memphis. Ass clown. Uh, as one might imagine, all of these loudmouth liberal hacks in the legislature are flapping their gums, looking for FaceTime as the election approaches. They all want to say, look what I did! I tried to do it, now give me my money, Bloomberg and Brady and the like. Now, House Speaker Cameron Sexton released a statement where he said, the legislature will not tolerate any attempts to go rogue and perform political sideshows. With the recent actions of the, of the progressive soft on crime DA in Shelby County, where Memphis is, and the Memphis City Council's continued efforts to override state law with local measures, we feel it has become necessary to take action and protect all Tennesseans' rights and liberties. We hope they will change course immediately. Our Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally said, The Tennessee Constitution clearly outlines the roles and responsibilities of the state and local governments. Shelby County needs to understand that despite their hopes and wishes to the contrary. They are constrained by these explicit constitutional guardrails. Now, I predict the courts crush this liberal anti-gun attack on the Second Amendment rights of Tennesseans, and I hope they will follow through and withhold that $78 million from Memphis. Hit them right in the pocket. Now, Tennessee voters need to get out in November if you want to keep this a red state. The Blue Crew has been making waves since the Nashville school shooting, and they're in it for the long haul. Look at any other state that has gone from red to blue. It can happen here, too. And if you don't believe me, don't get out and vote and just bitch and moan when it happens, because it will happen. They will bust people in, they will fly people in, they will pay people off, and they'll just keep chipping away until they have the majority. Guys and gals, I hope you understand what's going on in this state of Tennessee, and fight for your rights by voting. Yes, get out and vote. No, you can't vote away everything, but not voting sets up the blue crew to just walk right in unopposed. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Like and subscribe if you want to learn more about the constant infringement on our right to keep and bear arms. I'll bring it to you every single day. Appreciate y'all. Take care.